Boyfriend and girlfriend are walking through a city street on their way to some sort of event that they both seem to be excited about. Say, you want a ticket to this secret club meeting and challenge the members there to a rap battle? Us, because you can? Beep. Well, I've seen worse motivations for getting into rap battles. But, are you sure this is the right way? Something about this street feels off. I'm such a brave man for wanting to protect me. Here's my hand for you, my day. The two of birds love happily making light of the airy surroundings. They are unaware of a mysterious force. Watching them throw a rift in time and space. This figure shrouded in shadow with countless red eyes and a wicked smile slowly approaches boyfriend and girlfriend. A bright light blinds the two of them as they find themselves pushed into a gap. Uh, what happened it and where we? Girlfriend slowly gets up from the ground as she and boyfriend find themselves in the middle of what appears to be a Japanese-style village with a small creek to their left and various houses and stores fronts to their right. A few villagers wearing fetal clothing, some of which appearing to have animal features. Pause in the middle of their day as they observe the two new strangers. The eye pint that suffered from rust, but rare is this a pen? You were so close, but no cigar. Hi, who's there? Boyfriend and girlfriend look around trying to find the source of the voice. They spot two ribbons holding together a small seam in space before being torn apart. As a tall blonde woman wearing a white frilly dress and purple tubbert floats out of it. She holds a parasol and a fan. Girlfriend and boyfriend both feel a sense of dread washing over them as they feel the sheer power emanating from this woman. Here, oh, here. Oh, don't you worry, young man. I have no intentions of hurting either you or your girlfriend. But I am Yukari Yakima, the great Keisei of Boundaries, and the person who brought you to this wonderful world called Gensokyo. Gensokyo? I feel like I've heard of that name before. How do you put this simply? Gensokyo is the land that rests between the planes of dreams and reality. Of course, there's more to it than that, but giving you a history lesson isn't what I dragged you two here for. Then what did you bring us here for? A singing battle, of course. I've been watching you two in the various battles you've gotten yourselves into dairies, defeating powerful opponents such as a living nuclear warhead, an evil executable file, a clone from Nevada, and a high school girl who treats reality like it's nothing but God. I couldn't help myself. I needed to have a battle of songs with you. Don't be so eager just yet, boy. I haven't set the conditions. Oh boy, here we get can, but we guess if we lose, we are killed, right? How barbaric! I would never propose such cruel conditions. What I had in mid was if you win, you'd be able to go home free. But if I win, you will become my new Shikigami for all of eternity. Beep. That's my boy, the one to come servants today. Shikigami, there's a difference between the two terms. Now, let's rock. Three, two, one, go! <laughs>
thought that was simply a warm up. Yes, she was pretty good girlfriend. I tried to be careful. I'm getting this singing feeling in my stomach that something will take right. Dance again. I think I remember mommy telling you that this land in a fairy tale. A place where wise legends get to live at the rest of their days. This is no fairy tale, girlfriend. It would be best for you to remember those words. Ha! Don't mind me, I'm just some UK rambling to herself. Now let me change the scenery here. Boyfriend and girlfriend get sucked through a gap and end up in Yukuri's gap dimension. A home sweet home, such lovely jazz is a sight I can never get tired of. So many eyes, favorite watching me, it's unnerving. Beep. Now for this next song, how about I change things up a little bit, make things more fun, so to be mindful of trains. Signs are everywhere, but they can be so unexpected. Wait, what was that? That trains. <laughs> you heard what trains? Three, two, one, go! You did such an amazing job, Derry. Unfortunately, in this world we can't always have happy endings such as saying you and your little girlfriend were so cute together. Behold my true self and wither in fear of the true power of the UK boundaries. Yukari opens up gaps in front of boyfriend and girlfriend as lasers start to charge. When the lasers fire, all that comes out is confetti and a cute little party or noise as Yukari turns back to her normal self. Amazing, your power is no tall tale. Wait, turn to kill us. What was with that thing we just saw? I thought for sure they would have had a third sign in transformation. Oh, I'm so offended. 
Did you really think that I would fall under such clutches? And I thought I could call you my dear friends because I know you so well. We were growing as met you a few hours again, and time is a confusing here. Oh hush, besides why would I be so aggravated when this is such an intriguing and fun hobby to do? I should introduce Ram to this, I know that she would love it! Being in this rare dimension, it's making me feel like something is draining me I can't exactly describe my people. Such a courageous young man, so wanting to protect his girl reminds me of a couple that I once knew. Unfortunately, their love was cut far too short. In this real matter, call my home, everything is in a constant state of existing and not existing. Space is meaningless and the meaning of life and death is nothing than a mere memory making this place a necrophantasia. 3, 2, 1, go!
My oh my, even with the machinations of my helm, you were still able to defeat me. Very well, I admit defeat. You seem to be happy for some time. Who lies out? I just said that's a shaky game. I was really trying myself. I was only going at it with a small portion of my talent, so I had a feeling that I would end up losing. Besides, if I won, my first order would have been to send you two home so that you can live the rest of your lives happily together. I already have two perfect Shikigamas and a darling sure maiden that I'm proud to claim as my surrogate daughter. I truthfully didn't need you to. I just wanted to make sure that boyfriend made sure to fight with me with his most potential. Proposing stakes that aren't actually there is a small talent of mine. Yukari opens up a gap leading to the same street that boyfriend and girlfriend were at earlier. You would like having a better match with you at the point where it's insecure. There's still so much we have to learn about. The pleasure would be all mine. As boyfriend leaves through the gap, girlfriend is about to leave as well before being stopped by Yukari. Girlfriend, a moment please. Yes. There's another reason why it was you and boyfriend here. And uh, what would be? Please cherish and love boyfriend with all your heart as his life is naturally shorter than yours. The power that you hold inside of you is very powerful, almost as powerful as my own in some regards. If you were to lose control of your power, destruction and death would follow in your wake. I tell you this from my own personal experience, we don't need another me in this universe after all. Promise me that you will in my warning and love boyfriend with all your heart make every moment with him count. I promise you could promise not to end up like you, but ever may have happened to you, I want for people's mistakes. <laughs> Good. Now then, go have fun with your love. Thanks, I know. It is a Friday night after all. Girlfriend then leaves through the gap before it closes. A figure in chat has watched the entire week from the background on top of a large floating island. She gives a sigh as she senses the presence of an old friend. Here to lecture me on eavesdropping again. Who do you take me for, Cassin? No, but I take you for an old hag who is quite predicable in what she will say to me. Do you wish to get hit by a train, Kiki Setsuko? I can arrange that for you now if you'd like. <laughs> Relax, I'm only kidding. I doubt that, but I digress. Besides, that's not the reason for my visit today. I'm simply here to ask if you would like to. Go see a concert. A concert? You mean? I do get yourself prepared. We'll be leaving in a few, and you may want to take that hat off. We don't want anyone to ask questions. Kakif still coated in shadows takes something off of their head, revealing their face as they look down at a worn down red cap. <laughs> sudden interruption. I was just going easier to at least get one more song in. You never remember seeing this person visage before you, how upsetting. Either way, ever since I've heard of you, I've been looking through your journey through the wide multitude of people you've fought. Every one of them is interesting in their tactics, personality, and most importantly for this case, their music. My request, well I'll start singing first, you should be able to catch on soon enough, I won't be going easy on you though Derry. Although last time I told you to give it your all, I mean that to a much higher degree. And no worries, none of this is canon to the unknown and wanderers who were worried about such a plot twist. But... Anyways now with that all out of the way, let's begin shall we? I wonder how many times you'll get blue balled or will you who next this? 3, 2, 1, go! 